Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Today, I am here with a message that came to me through a movie. The movie is Legally Blonde. I think it was the second one. It was my first time watching the second one. And what was interesting is um, there was a part of the movie where Elle needed help with something. And there was someone who had a position of power. She It had absolutely nothing to do with her. Um, she overheard somehow. And she decided to help her not because she owed her one not because she knew her not because they were connected in any shape form or fashion they were not friends they were not associates they just saw each other around but simply because she wanted to do some good with her power now i know this is something called a uh, duis ex machina okay in a movie and it's just to keep the thing going you know what i'm saying throw something in there however like a buffer have you but anywho i feel like the message <clears throat> that god gave me through that is for somebody there is something that you need help with and whatever this is you cannot do this yourself there are a lot of things that you can do by yourself there are a lot of things that you can accomplish one deep but whatever this is you can't you cannot finish this by yourself. You cannot do this by yourself. This is something you just simply cannot. And it's a situation where God said he going to send somebody. Somebody that don't know you. Somebody that has never met you. Somebody that has simply heard of your situation. This somebody that don't know you specific. They just heard about what you got going on. They just heard about what's going on with you. And God said he going to send them to help you because you need some help okay the scripture comes from song of songs six and eight 60 queens there may be and 80 concubines and virgins beyond number but my dove my perfect one is unique the only daughter of her mother the favorite of the one who bore her god said that for somebody your spouse is gone like i just feel like this and it's it's love like and i don't know if it's gonna be a situation where like the person that um god sends you or has sent you is like this is somebody that he handpicked and sent to you and um or something like that. Or, and you know what I'm saying? For some of y'all, it could be a situation where this is somebody that God handpicked for you. And this is somebody that you going to meet. Like, and it's going to be a situation where it don't make sense. Like, you could be very confused as to how you met this person. Like, it could be a situation where you've been going to the same restaurant for years. You never met nobody. And then, whoop, bam. Now, all of a sudden, you meet somebody you like. And then it end up being the person that you end up getting, you know, I'm getting married to. Or it could be a situation where you meet your person through someone or like, you know what I'm saying? It, and it would be a situation where it's somebody you don't know. Like I said, this is somebody that is going to help somebody out. And it's somebody that it has nothing to do with them. It's not a situation. And for some of y'all, it could just simply be like, I, like you know what I'm saying? Once again, it, like it could simply be the angels that are going to help you and your person meet each other. The angels guided them to other exact spot. And then the angels guided you to or just guided y'all together to, ask, uh, to meet at this spot. And it would be a situation situation where you see them all the time you know what i'm saying and i'm thinking about in um jason's lyric how he was like he was trying to get he was trying to get with her when he first saw her and she was just kind of like nah i'm gonna check you i'm gonna see i'm gonna see we're gonna see she ain't get his number nothing like that they they you know what i'm saying and she was basically like if it's meant to be i'll see you again and guess what he saw her again okay and he saw her again okay <laughs> and i just feel like it's that kind of vibe like you know what i'm saying like it's the kind of vibe where it don't even make sense that you keep seeing this person but somehow some way y'all keep seeing each other y'all keep you know what i'm saying and obviously you know what i'm saying this is not gonna be this is not a situation where you know what i'm saying god may like i just feel like this is the type of person that you know what i'm saying you have like you have an effect on them and they have an effect on you no matter what and i'm thinking about how i say 60 queens there may be and 80 concubines and virgins beyond number but my dove my perfect one is unique 
So God is saying, this is somebody, they see you for who you are. They see you for your uniqueness. They see you for your genuineness. They see you for, like, they can tell that you are different than others. Like, they can tell that you stand out amongst the crowd. And for some of you, it could be a situation where somebody just realized this about you. And there may have been something that happened, or there may have been some kind of situation that um, changed this, um, the way that they viewed you. And that's for somebody. For somebody, God said, like, um, it may be a situation where they have been looking at you and they assume something. Even when you think about the movie, because she, like I said, she had just, like, seen her around. And she knows, she knew of what she was, what she was doing and what she was trying to do. And um, she was trying, I think she was trying to do something for the dog, for the dog. Like, she made a bill for her dog and she was trying to get it passed. But anyways... I'm saying that to say, like, it could be a situation where, y'all, like, maybe your person just watching you right now. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people test. I've seen, sad to say, but I've seen more men test women than I've seen women test men, which is crazy as wild, well, right? Because, you know what I'm saying? It's like, in reality, in the relationship, the person that kind of, like, goes through it the most, you know, per se, as far as having kids and taking care of everybody and still having to work and having to pay bills and etc., the woman go through so much. And I know men go through it too. I know. I'm not trying to say y'all don't go through nothing, but y'all, y'all don't even understand how much a woman, we literally risk our lives to bring your children into this world. And some women don't even get a thank you. They don't even get, in fact, not only do they not get a thank you, but they get, you know what I'm saying, the opposite. You know what I'm saying? If, you know what I'm saying? I can't say it, on, but y'all know what I'm, mm, they get the opposite. They get, you know what I'm saying, dipped out on, they get, you know what I'm saying, ghosted and all that. It's like, the and, and they, they risk their life for that. And you know what I'm saying, as sad as it is, I'm thinking about the story of what happened to, uh, what's his name, Voldemort from Harry Potter. That's what I'm being reminded of now and how his dad, um, was gone you know what i'm saying he he dipped out his mom you know what i'm saying lost it she went you know because he dipped out and she didn't know what to do by herself with the baby and she was heartbroken and she didn't couldn't understand why he did her like that and etc cetera, etc cetera. and he ended up in an orphanage and you know what i'm saying and i just feel like and i i, I just feel like it, it's a situation where everybody you know what i'm saying i, I just feel like this is a, a vibe where somebody your person is like they see you and when they see you they see you as being different they see you as unique they see you as one of a kind they see you as something that they can share and something that they love they don't see you as something that they just gonna toss to the side or something that they just gonna you know what i'm saying they really love you and um yeah and for some reason, like, and that's what I was finna say. For some reason, baby, I just feel like my, I'm scatterbrained for a second. But anyways, uh, for whatever <laughs> I don't know how or why I started talking about the orphanage. But anyways, but anywho, for some reason, you have somehow, some way, over the past 24 hours shown your person that it is you who they are intended to be with. And, um, yeah. And for some of y'all, it could even be a situation where you ain't exactly show them that it is you who they are intended to be with. It could be a situation where you have, um, somebody else has, because it, uh, it also mentioned 60 Queens. There may be 80 concubines, virgins beyond number. So it could be a situation where I'm thinking about a video, like a message that I just like today I posted, like while I'm recording this, I think it literally just posted a little while ago. And in that message, it was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like talking about how Tyreek and Diana and Effie and I forgot the other girl name and how, you know what I'm saying? Everything that they got going on. And you know what I'm saying? In the, the scripture, it says 60 queens, 80 concubines, virgins beyond. God said, even though all these other people are around, it doesn't mean this person is still going to focus on you. This person still wants to focus on you. Okay, for some of y'all, it could be a situation where this person has either, um, I don't know why 
I keep like, but I feel like this could be like, and I'm saying it because this it says sixty queens, so this could be a man that have like multiple women going on or something like that, or it like I, I don't know. But I just feel like it's still, like, you still stand out. Like, it's like somebody you still stand out, like, for whatever reason. You still stand out, okay? And it's just you. Like, and it's something about you that they have realized once again. Because, you know, the uh, in the movie, it was a situation where she just kind of had an epiphany and decided that she wanted to help her. All of a sudden, she just all of a sudden wanted to help her. And God is saying, that's what it's going to be for somebody like someone is going to have an epiphany and they are going to realize that you are the one for them undoubtedly without a doubt without any second guessing or questions about it you have got to be the one for them and that's just that and um yeah that's so sweet oh and, and that's the message you know what i'm saying and god is saying like this is gonna be somebody um and for some of you, it could be a situation where someone that is a stranger to you is going to help you to, um, or it's going to help you by helping your person realize that. So for some of you, it's going to be a situation where a complete stranger is going to make, help your person to realize that y'all supposed to be together. And it's going to be somebody that like, you know what I'm saying? That's just a passerby. They just happen to be around, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to help your person to realize that y'all belong together. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.